Hi guys. Today in our speaking and listening portion of the lesson, we're going to be listening to lesson one, building blocks and systems. Our primary focus is to be able to explain how the human body is an interconnected system. Just a quick reminder, if at any time you need to pause the video, rewatch, you may feel free to do so. The following are some vocabulary words that we're going to be hearing in this lesson. You're not expected to know these right away, but with repeated exposure throughout the lessons, hopefully you will acquire a good understanding of most of the words. You may also keep a unit dictionary along with the definitions, sentences, and or other writing exercises using these vocabulary words. The first word is cells. Cells are the smallest units that make up living things and are microscopic. Circulate. Circulate means to move around in a loop or circle. Functions. Functions are the actions or activities that something was designed to do. Organs. Organs are major parts of the body formed by tissues that perform specific functions. And then tissues. Tissues are masses of cells that have a specific structure and come together to form organs. During today's read aloud, I want you to listen carefully to hear a little bit about the skeletal, muscular, nervous, digestive, circulatory, respiratory, and excretory systems. You will be hearing riddles about each of these systems, so listen carefully to guess the correct answers. Also, you should listen carefully to find out about the building blocks of the human body. So let me ask you, who remembers Dr. Wellbody? The rhyming pediatrician from grade one, the human body. You're going to be learning about the human body from a narrator named Ricardo, who loves to tell riddles about the human body. So what exactly is a riddle? Can you give me an example of a riddle that you may have heard before or share one or two riddles that you know? Okay. So hello everybody, I'm Ricardo. I'm in the fourth grade and I'm fascinated by the human body and its complex interconnected systems. I hope to continue to learn about the human body in great detail and become a doctor someday. Dr. Wellbody is a friend of mine. Who remembers Dr. Wellbody? She's the rhyming pediatrician whom some of you may have met when you were in first grade. Dr. Wellbody taught you about your body using several rhymes like this one. Everybody has a body, and I have one too. It is grand to understand the things our bodies do. Dr. Wellbody just happens to be my very own pediatrician. She's also one of my teachers, but not the kind you find in a school, <clears throat> excuse me, because she's taught me so much about my body, she has asked me to come share a little of what I've learned with you. Thanks for welcoming me. I can't wait. Our bodies are often compared with machines. That comparison may seem strange to you at first, because machines are non-living objects, and our bodies are very much alive. But think about it. Machines are made up of networks. Human body systems include lots of different parts working together to perform very special jobs. Dr. Wellbody says that our bodies are the most marvelous machines on Earth, and I think you will agree with her once we review how our bodies work. Just as Dr. Wellbody loves rhymes, I love riddles. So expect to hear a lot of riddles from me. Let's begin our lesson with one now. <clears throat> I am as strong as a tree trunk, but with a little help from other human body systems, I can bend in many directions. I give your body its shape. What am I? It's your skeleton. Does anyone know which system of the body includes your skeleton? Your skeletal system. 
that bony network that supports you and protects important organs inside your body. The skeletal system is only one of many systems working together in your body. So quick check. What is the function of the skeletal system? Now I'm going to ask you some more riddles. See if you can match the riddle to the right body system. Ready? Let's go. I'm the system that makes your bones move. I also help you blink and swallow. What system am I? The muscular system is made up of muscles. Muscles are the motors of the human machine, and they keep your body moving in lots of different ways. Some are attached to your bones and help you run and throw a ball. Others line the walls of the stomach, squeezing in and then relaxing to help digest your food. Small muscles in your face help you smile. Your strongest and most important muscle, your heart, works non-stop, pumping blood throughout your body day and night. <clears throat> Quick check. What is the function of the muscular system? All right, here's the next riddle. Without me, you would not be able to feel, see, or hear. I control your senses by sending messages to my command center, the brain. What system am I? The nervous system is your body's communicator. It tells your body what to do. Nerves run throughout your body from head to toe, like a giant road system. Nerves send messages up and down your spine to your brain. The nervous system controls your muscles, telling them how to move. It also helps all your other systems do their jobs. Quick check. What is the function of the nervous system? Here's your next riddle. I work like a food processing machine. You put food in your mouth and churn it up for the rest of your body to use as fuel. What system am I? The digestive system helps you digest or break down your food. It splits your food into nutrients, giving your body energy to live and grow. Food enters your mouth and travels down a long tube called the esophagus, all the way to the stomach and the intestines. It takes food nearly two days to pass all the way through your body. Quick check. What is the function of the digestive system? Ready for another riddle? I work like a water filter getting rid of harmful substances in the liquid that passes through your body. I excrete them or push them out of the body. What system am I? The excretory system excretes or gets rid of liquids such as sweat and urine that may be harmful to the body. Your skin, the largest organ of the body, excretes sweat through its many pores. A pair of organs called the kidneys filter harmful substances and extra water from the blood and send them to your bladder. Your bladder looks like a bag holding excess fluid or urine until it's ready to pass out of your body. So quick check. What is the function of the excretory system? Here's another riddle. I am your body's delivery system. I deliver nutrients and oxygen to all parts of your body. Nutrients and oxygen circulate or are carried throughout the body by blood vessels. The heart acts as my pump. What system am I? The circulatory system is made up of your heart, blood vessels, and blood. Blood enters your heart and is pumped into a large blood vessel. Blood vessels carry blood to every part of your body and loop back again. This circulation of the blood, carrying nutrients and oxygen, happens all day and all night. 
So, quick check. What is the function of the circulatory system? Here's the last riddle for now. I carry oxygen to your blood. Without oxygen, you cannot live. I also get rid of a gas called carbon dioxide that the body does not need. I help you breathe. What system am I? The respiratory system brings oxygen-filled air into your body. You can live without food for days, but you cannot live for more than a few minutes without oxygen. You breathe in air through your mouth and nose and exhale a gas called carbon dioxide. Air travels through a tube into your lungs, the organs that take up most of your chest. Your lungs take in the oxygen that keeps you alive. Quick check. What is the function of the respiratory system? Wow, everybody, you've identified seven of the body's systems. Let's see if you can name all seven with me. Muscular, oh, sorry, skeletal, muscular, nervous, digestive, excretory, circulatory, and respiratory. Now, it's time to find out what all these systems have in common. The systems of the human body are organ systems. Each system is made up of organs, part of the body with clearly defined functions. For example, your stomach is an organ. Your stomach works closely with other organs, your mouth, esophagus, liver, and intestines. These organs are all part of your digestive system. Each one of these organs has a specific function to perform as part of your digestive system's overall job, which is to down your body's food. Organs are made up of tissues. Tissues are masses of cells that have a specific structure and come together to form organs. There are many different types of tissues, including muscle, bone, skin, blood, and nerve tissue. Each type of tissue is made up of different groups of similar cells that do the same jobs. All body tissues are made up of cells. What exactly are cells? Cells are tiny building blocks, so tiny, in fact, that nobody even knew what they were or that they existed until microscopes were invented about 400 years ago. Microscopes magnify cells, making them big enough to see and study. Your body contains trillions of cells. Cells come in all shapes and sizes, depending upon the jobs they must perform. For example, red blood cells look like bagels with dents instead of holes. They travel through your blood, carrying important nutrients throughout your body. Skin cells grouped together in skin tissue are packed tightly together to form a protective boundary between you and your environment. Your skin is your largest organ. Nerve cells are grouped together in nerve tissue and often have long extensions that send and receive messages quickly. Muscle cells grouped together in muscle tissue look very different too. They are long and lean helping the body move as they stretch and shorten. Each body system is made up of different types of cells. There are over 200 different types of cells in your body. Everything you do, from breathing to eating to running to sleeping, requires lots of working cells. They are truly the building blocks of your body. Without cells, there would be no body tissues, no body organs, in no body systems. In fact, all living things have cells. There would be no living things on earth if it weren't for cells. Cells are alive and living things do not last forever. Some cells live for only a few days. Others live for years. Some cells become damaged when you get hurt. 
others wear out over time. But instead, inside your body's tissues, cells are constantly dividing and multiplying. One cell becomes two cells. Two cells become four. Four become eight, and so forth. As cells die, the dead cells are replaced with new cells on a daily basis. Is the life cycle of cells amazing? Well, everybody, we're out of time today. You've heard a little bit, a lot about a lot of the body systems. Next time, I'll be back to give you a peek inside your body. I'm looking forward to discussing the human body systems with you. See you next time. Now, you may have a chance to answer some questions from your teacher. Remember, if you need to rewind the video to watch any section, feel free to do so. Hope you've learned something new today.